Hey everybody, Jay Super Awesome here. I'd like to welcome you all to week number five of the Horror Man Slashback Saturday Challenge. This week's slasher movie theme is 80s Slashers, and I will be giving my review for Scalps. Okay, so getting into the plot for this one. A cut above many 80s slasher classics, 1983's Scalps mixes splatter action with the supernatural when a group of college kids go digging around an old Native American burial ground. Suffice to say, a spirit by the name of Black Claw was enjoying his sleep and does not react well to being disturbed. Okay, so getting into my thoughts for this one. With this week's Slashback Challenge theme of 80s slashers, I thought it was the perfect opportunity for me to watch and review Scalps simply because it's a slasher film I had in my collection that I had never seen before. Scalps was directed by Fred Olin Ray and was released in 1983, and this is the 88 Films Blu-ray release from their Slasher Classics collection line, and this is release number 19. I wanted to take a moment to talk about the bonus features because this release has quite a few special features, but more in particular, I wanted to mention that it says it has a 2K scan from the original negative with sensor scenes restored via tape sources. So overall, I thought the picture quality of this release was pretty good, but there is one section of the movie to where the picture quality takes a really hard hit. And this does happen at the rape scene. And just to give a guess, the poor picture quality lasts between three to five minutes, give or take one way or the other. Now, I didn't time it out, but it didn't really last for too long. And it didn't hurt my overall enjoyment of the movie. But it is something that's highly noticeable, and I definitely wanted to mention it. I really like the opening of the movie. We have a man who I believe is an archaeologist. He is traveling to a dig site, and once he reaches the site, he gets out of his truck and goes up to a cave, kneels down, and begins to dig. Almost as soon as his blade touches the ground, his hand becomes possessed, and the blade is turned on to himself. So it's a really cool opening sequence, and I really like that how over the course of the movie, the state of the body will begin to decay and look worse over time. I really like the special effects on the corpse. There's a lot of really weird stuff going on in this one, and I don't mean that in a bad way, but sometimes it seems like things are out of place. At random times, you will see a ghost Indian head that will appear, and this seems to happen at completely random times. But I thought it was pretty cool because it gives the sense that evil spirits are watching over the cursed Indian burial grounds. Something else that you will see is an Indian with a horrific face that is simply running around in blue jeans. And this makes more sense later on when you find out who the killer will become. But when you first see it, it hasn't happened yet. So it really feels like it's out of place. I find it to be pretty odd. But overall, I really did enjoy this movie in a so bad it's good kind of way. It was pretty cheesy fun in my opinion. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the cast of characters we have in Scalps. I had already mentioned the archaeologist in the opening sequence. We have another archaeologist who is about to head out to another dig site with his six students. But he gets held up by some paperwork formalities and is going to be a couple of days late leaving the office. The six students consist of two relationship couples, and then we have a girl who has really bad vibes about the trip and does not agree with the digging at the ancient Indian burial site. The guy who relates with her the most is the one in the glasses who is most familiar with the history of the dig site and the Indians who are buried there. So on their way to their destination, and it's a pretty long drive sequence, they stop at a gas station, and we meet the gas station attendant, and we meet the creepy guy who warns them to not go to the place with the black trees, which is basically dead trees where the Indians are buried. So overall, I thought the characters were okay, and I thought the acting was good enough for an 80s slasher movie. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the most important part of a slasher movie, that is the killer and the kills. So basically what we have here is a person becomes possessed by the evil spirit of Black Claw and becomes the killer. I really like how in the later part of the movie the facial features start to look more and more like Black Claw 
until fully becoming Black Claw. So the facial features look really cool. I just wish something more could have been done with the overall look. Because basically we just have a killer who wears jeans. Other than the really cool facial features. Something else that's really cool about the killer is he has a really nice wide variety of Indian style murder weapons. Of course he uses a bow and arrow. He has a tomahawk for scalping. And he uses a giant bone as a club. So some really cool weapons for this killer. And as far as the kills go in this movie, I don't really consider it to have a high body count, even though it does have a pretty decent body count. And I don't really consider it to be overly gory, but we do get a really violent scalping scene. Another kill sequence I thought was really cool is a girl is getting shot by arrows from the killer's bow. And it's just a really awesome scene to watch because she can really take a lot of arrows. So I thought that was pretty cool to see. And I did mention that the killer uses a giant bone as a club. This happens in a slow motion kill sequence. And in fact, there's actually a couple of slow motion sequences in this movie that I found to be absolutely hilarious to watch. Overall, I really did enjoy this one. I thought it was a cheesy, fun, and entertaining slasher film. And I really loved the ending. And I didn't go into this one with any kind of high expectations. So I'm not really for sure if this one's going to be for everybody. But if what I have said in this review, if you find it to be interesting, then you should definitely check it out. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know if you have seen Scalps. Or just let me know what you think about my review. And I would like to thank you all for watching.